Hey, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Capricorn. My, my video just started. I wasn't even ready. <laughs> I wasn't even ready. So get ready, Capricorn. Something's happening unexpected because I wasn't even ready. I was puffing. But, you know, the time now, uh, as you already know, this is going to be your weekly motivational, okay? I, I'm getting, I'm wearing Mary again because I messed up her birthday the last time. You know, Mary, I got real love for you, girl. So her birthday is January 11th. My bad, Mary. She's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. You supposed to be my fan and you didn't Google my birthday? Girl, get out of my face, all right? But I got you, I got real love for you, baby. You know, you know that, Mary, okay? All right, so the time now is 438, so... Um, seven, eight, fifteen, six. A lot of people are getting sick. So again, a lot of people are getting sick. So six, six, six. So it's, so you may be seeing six. Again, follow your intuitions, your instincts, family situation going on here. Okay. So again, yes. Let's go. All right. So uh, the title of this video is going to be a Bible verse. So if you have a problem with that, please go to another channel. Okay. Yes. Mary was like. What? Girl, get out my face. <laughs> Sorry, Mary Boo. <laughs> Mary Jane, I mean. <laughs> all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Let's get it. So this is going to be your weekly motivation. I posted a Capricorn video yesterday, guys. So you may want to check that out. Okay? 40. Who got this? Two people got this. All right, two signs. All right. So, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or have rising moon Venus or your North Node is Sagittarius. At Natural, it's all about independence. So, some of you guys are, you know, embarking on a new journey, leaving a situation, a marriage, or entrepreneurs, leaving a job, okay? But whatever it is, you're ready for the next step. So, you're implementing your ideas. So, what's next? Because I do see a lot of growth. You guys are earth signs. So, you guys are grounded and you're not playing with people, okay, as well. Some of you guys may have long hair for a male. Okay, so you guys may do here for a living as well. Okay, but whatever it is, you're all about growth and expansion. Okay, and I do see whatever you're planting is growing, but things being illuminated, things light, things being shed at this moment. I mean, light exposed. Okay, all right, but you're really, you're really courageous at this time and powerful and a straight shooter. You're bold, you're speaking up. Okay, yes, but don't fuck around with you. All right, but angel independence. Free thinker. Freedom. Yes. Freedom to go. Freedom to come. Freedom to say what the fuck you want to say. Freedom to do what you want to do. Eat what you want to eat. Spiritual growth. Yes. You're growing. You're growing and expanding. Okay? Light. You're coming back to the light. But you bring light into people's world. But again, light being shed on a lot of things and things being illuminated to you. Power enhanced pineal gland. Wisdom very wise and you give wise counsels as well okay but it's experiential wisdom what you've been through in life and you're applying it to your life and you school others exploration exactly new adventure for you if you're exploring okay i help open the door to freedom in all areas of life through spiritual enlightenment and the discovery of truth working in your truth but discovery of truth bronzite november some of you guys may be dealing with uh, Scorpio or Sagittarius and big changes. So big changes are coming guys. Big changes are coming. Okay. So you're another one with big changes. Okay. Yes. So let me get your affirmation. I have the power to manifest my dream life. I have the power to manifest my dream life. Alignment. You're coming in alignment with the with the rain here. This is all about purification process. Okay. Yes. Purification process. Some of you guys are very nostalgic. Some of you guys have been crying. Okay. Very nostalgic. All right. But healing with the star here. But I do see star status. Okay. But Aquarius. Some of you guys may be dealing with Aquarius. But I do see a soulmate coming in as well. The star and the moon. A soulmate. But I have the power to manifest my dream life. Okay? Yes. All right? But it's all about action. It's not only about manifesting it and thinking about it and envisioning yourself there. You have to act on it. Okay? Let me get your money block affirmation. Can't save. Okay? So, some of you guys are... Um, 
you feel like you can't save, maybe in a relationship that, you know, is stagnant, you're the one doing the most. But Spirit wants you to save every nickel, penny, dime, quarter, get yourself a jar, a piggy bank, okay? But it's like you can't save with someone. It's like stagnating your growth. Or you just feel like your money is like going, you know, no matter what you do to save money, it's just keep going, okay? Um, yes. Pay attention to dimes, nickels, and quarters. Your spirit guides, your ancestors are letting you know that they're with you along the way, okay? But again, with money problems, it's like always a bill or always something coming up that you feel like you can't save, okay? But let go of the need to spend. Emotional spending, guys, careful. Put change in a jar each day, yes. It says, I save money and it grows. I save money and it grows. I save money and it grows. Okay. You may be seeing 444. Historians. Some of you guys may love history, but doing your research. Some of you guys are educators already, professors, okay, elementary school of some sort, but highly intelligent, but you're doing some research here. You're getting your facts straight, okay? But historian, gifts, enjoys researching the past or doing DNA, your ancestry, right? But enjoys researching the past, ancestry, etc. May have an interest in psychology. So again, like counseling people, like I said, you're very wise. Counseling people, speaking to people, public speakers, stuff like that. But you guys don't give a fuck. You guys are straight shooters, like, listen, don't come to me for fucking advice, okay? Because I'll tell you like it is, all right? <laughs> you guys like one of those kind of people, like a person asks you a stupid question, you be like, you know, like, you know, if they say, you know, not to offend anybody out there, like, am I fat? Okay, well, did you look in the fucking mirror? Okay, so did you see yourself fat? So what the fuck you ask me a stupid question like that for? It's stuff like that. You're just very straight and direct with people. Love that, okay? That's what energy I'm picking up. Okay, enjoy solving mysteries. So there's a mystery you try to solve here. You understand? But you're getting down to the bottom of the truth. You're researching, clicking through every damn fucking whatever it is. Nobody better step on your fucking wrong toe because you're going to go through their Facebook. You can create a fake account just so you can spy on them, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever it is, you're going to find it. But you enjoy solving mysteries. Some of you guys are detectives out there. FBI agents, something about like that. Like, you guys uh, love to solve mysteries. I love it too. Uh, or um, you guys love documentary, like uh, forensic science, like real life crimes. There you go. Challenges. Unable to let go of the past and move on. Spirit wants you to release it. Can't save. If it's stagnating you, you gotta fucking release it. If you can't grow with the person or the situation at hand or the job, right? May struggle with authorities traits. Okay, I feel you on that. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, hey, listen. <laughs> All right, but you know, it's not what they say, it's how they say it, right, caps? All right. Scattered and unable un un scattered and unable to focus at times. So spirit wants you to write a list. Uh, do a vision board and focus because you guys are every, here, there, everywhere. You got too many things going on. Okay, again, you're exploring. Okay, yes, you already set your goal, but this is not a race. Take your time. One, execute one thing at a time and make sure you save your money. Any penny, I don't give a fuck if you find pennies in the street. Pick that shit up, bring it home, and put it in a jar. Okay? Yes. You see, it's, it's, it's building. I save money and it grows. Okay, your lesson. You learn that your past does not create your future. You learn that your past does not create your future. Right. So you can't reflect on what happened or shoulda, woulda, coulda, or I coulda done things differently. No. It's called experiential wisdom, like I said. So you understand what happened in the past. It's the fucking past. You move past it, and you say, you know what? And you apply the lesson to your life, and you become more wiser and knowledgeable to never go that route again. But you can't let allow yourself or feel guilty of the past and stay stuck there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Okay, fuck it. It happened. 
sayonara because it stagnates your growth and what you're here to do right and it also fucks with your manifestation pro uh, process okay so when you focus on a problem it becomes worse so don't focus on the problem focus on the solution right okay yes let's see here there you go oh my mind, my mind feels scattered just now. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> that's how you guys are like trying to find something here. You guys are digging deep, okay? Or somebody digging deep on you trying to find something. Trustworthy guidance. There you go. So your spirit guides are with you. Your ancestors are with you. But what I said, write down your ideas. Right. Do a vision board. Okay? I always tell you guys to do that because you gotta, you guys got to focus. Get, go somewhere quiet. And, and work in peace, right? Some of you guys may be artists out there, painters, um, work in a museum of some sort. Again, historians, okay? But something about research, writers, directors, something like that, plays, all right? Yes, but your angel guys are, are guiding you and they, they're, you know, trustworthy guidance, okay? So you're being guided. Pay attention to your dollars, all right? You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. So they want you to actually uh, ask for support, okay? No idea is stupid and no question is stupid, okay? Yes. So you have an idea. Don't think like, oh, it's not going to work out, blah, 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 blah. No, pray on it and, and pray for your dream. Pray for a dream or a sign to another person. And you're going to get your answers. Okay? But just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Food. Okay, so some of you guys may be caterers, chefs, uh, thinking about opening up a food truck or selling food from your house. Whatever. Do it. But this is spiritual food because you're spiritually growing and ascending. So get your spiritual food as well. Some of you guys may be bloggers or vloggers and have your own cookbook, whatever. Okay, or thinking about it, no idea is stupid. Do it. I don't give a fuck if there's a million cooks out there. You're different and authentic to your own style, right? As long as you're uh, walking in your truth and being authentic and unique with your own, because food, you could do many things with food, right? So do it. Don't be like, ah, oh, too many people is doing it. You know, nobody's going to, nobody's going to fuck other people. You worry about yourself and do it. Fuck. They're not, they're, they're, you're in the league of your own. Okay. That's it. So what I eat fuels me. Again, take care of your health. Take care of your health. Okay. I eat the best foods accessible to me. I infuse my food with love and gratitude before eating. Pray. Pray on it. Visualizing the nutrients I am consuming and the love that went into growing and preparing this food. So some of you guys are growing your own crops, okay? Plants, organic stuff, vegan, stuff like that, okay? Visualizing the nutrients. So every, anything you do, do it with love, okay? Yes. See me? Have you, ever, have you ever rushed to cook and you say to yourself, wow, this don't taste right. Something's off. But you didn't feel like doing it. Right? You just did it because you had to cook or the kids had to eat or, you know, you had to eat, whatever. But you just be like, damn, shit. But it didn't taste right. Right? But then when you take your time and you really feel like cooking and, and you, you take your time, put your love into it, it tastes fresh. Like, wow, this is like, you know? Yes. So, but not, not only food, but whatever you do, put love, love into it. But put love into yourself and believe in yourself. Okay, but something related to food. Okay? Yeah. But get your spiritual food as well. But be careful with what you eat. Alright, guys? Yes. Okay. Eighty-eight. You may be seeing a lot of eights, but an unexpected gift from the universe is on the way. 
you are being rewarded for your good deeds of the past. So your blessings are coming in, guys. Your prayers are being answered. Okay, trust trust the universe. Trust God. They're sending you an unexpected gift. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Big changes. It says November, so something in the next month. Big changes, guys. Okay, all right. Canoe, upcoming adventure. So traveling. Some of you guys may love to fish as well, okay? But moving in silence. Some of you guys are going on a cruise or camping somewhere. But again, exploration, new adventures, okay? Yes, but move in silence, but upcoming adventure, okay? Yes. Whatever that may be for you. But learning something new. All right, so let me pick some tarot here. Oh, wait. Before I pick the tarot, let me get one of these. Recovery. So some of you guys are recovering. Hold on. Yes, guys. Sorry about that. The ambulance. So uh, be careful with accidents or injuries. Um, some of you guys may need to go to the doctor. Okay. Some of you guys may work for EMT, but recovery. So you're recovering from some type of surgery or injury. Okay. But healing, healing your heart, heart chakra. All right. But it's all about rest and recuperation and meditation. Okay. All right. So now let me pull some tarot and get into your business. Okay. A little bit. But again, your ancestors are with you. See? Right behind you. Sending you healing energy. Some of you guys may be dealing with a cancer. Something intense, though. It says cancer intense. Okay. Some of you guys may have learned of a health scare of cancer. My condolences. I'm just saying because that popped up. Okay. So... Yeah, nine of wands. You feel defeated. You feel like like nothing is working out. You're standing your strong. You're standing strong though. Recovering. Okay, you're ready next for you because you're putting in the hard work. You definitely are, but you just feel like you're not seeing the fruits of your labor. Spirit is saying, don't give up. Don't give up. It's on your. It's on its way. Big changes. November is right around the corner. If you stop now, then what was all the effort for? But this is all about persistence. And perseverance right standing your ground like I said okay courage to courage to keep going no matter what yeah nine of swords some of you guys are up in your head okay worried concerned what I said when you focus on the problem the problem it, it keeps it keeps the problem uh, it, it just gets worse right so whatever health scare or whatever thing whatever you found out okay heal it's all about recovery, healing, and releasing, no matter how hard it may seem, okay? But a lot of anxiety here with you and despair, all right? You feel like you're at a breaking point, okay? Overwhelmed. Can you, can you, can you continue to go? That's how you feel. Yeah, two of wands. Spirit wants you to close out this cycle once and for all, and with the world card, focus on yourself. Heal yourself, right? Yes. What do you want to do? But you have to close out the past and stop reliving it. Or close out something that is a burden on you that you're still... Because ten, when we get... This is nine. Ten is burden. Okay? But nine, you're still standing strong. You're still trying to hold it together. But it just feels like you're just... is one stick left. I'm, I'm, you know? Yes. So, it's like Spirit is saying, okay, Capricorns, it's time to release this. You did enough. For whoever, this person or your hard work is going to pay off. Your blessings are coming in from your past good deeds. Your past good deeds. But you have to release this already. Release it. Okay. You're really isolated. Yeah. You're going to be looking good. Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy. King, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are married out there. But I do see you're going to be financially stable. Stabilized. It's coming. Okay, but you guys are concerned whether you should close out a marriage or not or end a marriage, something like that. Okay, but you're still trying to maintain an upstanding person, right? A good person, provider, but it's like can't save. Something is burdening you. 
okay? You're holding it. You're holding it together, but you only got one stick left. Spirit is saying, before that one stick, before you fall fully, release it. Focus on you. Focus on you. Okay? Because you can make yourself really unwell, right? Concerned about others and not taking care of yourself. Yeah, because you're juggling a lot by yourself. See? Spirit is saying, hey, 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 you got too much things on your mind. Too many tabs are open. You need to close out some tabs right now, Capricorn, right? Because you're juggling. What should I do? Bills, this, that, buy, kids, this, that, this relationship, this, the job, this. No, close out some tabs. Focus, okay? Yes. I have the power to manifest. That's why I said some of you guys, I felt crying. I have the power to manifest my dream life. The power is in your hands, okay? But try not to overthink, all right? It says here, unable to let go of the past and move on, scattered, scattered, and unable to focus at times. This is it. You're concerned about your money, your health, your, your, your this, your that. Spirit wants you to release it. Yeah. And balance. Put the love in yourself and your work. Okay? Yes. Start loving yourself again. But do everything in moderation. Okay? Doing things in moderation, trying to find balance, self-control. It's all about self-control. Your, your, your mind is out of control at this time. Okay? And start loving yourself again. Healing. You're going through a healing process. Okay? Be careful what you eat and drink at this time. Some of you guys may be over drinking. I'm not going to lie. Emotional drinking going on here. Okay? But it's following your heart. Closing out the cycle and doing what's best for you. That's what Spirit is saying. And then balance is going to be restored in your life. Okay? But uh, take a vacation. Okay? Yes. So do what feels right to you. Major life change. There you go. <laughs> hey, it happens. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. So planning and going, moving forward. Leaving the past behind. I mean, hey, I can't. That's why I can't save came out because somebody's leaving you off balance here. And I'm and I mean you 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 holding it down, but I mean there's but so much you could do. Okay. You're the breadwinner, okay? This one flipped. It says, when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing and smiling? Some of you guys haven't laughed and smiled for a very long time or have been happy for a very long time. So when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? Uh, so I hope I made you laugh and smile today, right? So go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants or did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting and eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snore or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the little things. Note to self, laugh more often. Watch a comedy show or watch, you know, something funny or some funny movie. Okay? Make somebody laugh today or this week. But this is your weekly motivation, guys. Okay? All right, so that's all I have for you, Capricorns. You know, I love you guys. You know, Mary, I got love for you. January love. <laughs> one, uh, one, one, one. She's a triple one, so you may be seeing one, 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 okay? Yes, I, no, I ain't going to disrespect you no more. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible, girl, Tosh. I'm out.